Hey everybody, Jacob Scooters Lawn Care. Today I was going to do a little review on our Wright 52 standards, um, bring up some of the things we've had issues with, talk about what we like, and, uh, and see what you guys think. Okay, so this right here is our 52 standard. It's the, the one with the Kawasaki motors on it um, and the commercial breather. It's been a really great mower. We, we really love them. We've, we've had good luck with, for the most part with everything. Um, the reason that this ZK is sitting in the background though is because the other one's in the shop and this one's about to go to the shop. At this point, they both have just crossed over to the 200 hour mark line, um, or line mark. We got them earlier this year. And what we are running into is it appears that there's some sort of tip switch situation that goes on with these that causes them just to to stumble really bad. I mean, you could run across a molehill and they'll they'll just blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, I was kind of wanting to put this out there to show you guys and, and ask anybody else if they've had this issue with these. Um, for the most part though, everything else has, has been fine. Um, the only other little glitch with this one, like I said, that's going to go in is that it has a little bit of a key issue. The key, when you turn it off, it doesn't immediately shut it off. They're gonna put a new key switch on it. Luckily, this is all under warranty. And that's just to speak about, you know, who we work with that if we're gonna take in one mower, they make sure we've got another one. And, you know, they gave us a much more expensive mower to use for the time being. So I was happy with that. But um, as compared to the 36, it's very, very similar. One of the biggest things I have noticed that I don't love. Um, we do a lot of hedge trimming, and when we got these baggers right there for the 36, these mowers were the 36 only, would literally pick up every clipping on the ground. It was like a vacuum. The 52s do not collect that well. Um, they're great for collecting grass. If you need to bag grass, that's what they do well. I mean, they, those are grass gobblers, so that's what they're meant to do, but you know, some people try to use them for leaves, I don't see the 52s being good for leaves. They blow out the sides really bad. Um, other than that, other things I like, <clears throat> they're still a pretty light mower and it really gets a lot wider tire. They're really light on their back two tires. It seems like they're not too bad on um, scuffing stuff up. I still think X mark personally with you having the pad out back here is a little bit better because it puts more weight on those tires and, and gets you a little bit of balance where you can get a little more traction and not tear sometimes. But it's all in what you learn to run. Um, as I brought up before, we just do these really, really uh, nothing nothing fancy at all. I mean, we do the strings hold it right now for here, but you know, this is just a, you pull this up and it falls down. Just a very simple homemade design. Um, we actually got the mulch kits for rights, and that's the covers for them. All the decks are the same if they're arrow cores, and, uh, and we just ended up using those for shoot covers. So I wanted to look at this real shortly, just while we've got it. The ZK, this thing's massive. I haven't even looked under here yet. Um, wow, it's just a hog. Everything is just massive on it. Looks like it's got separate hydraulic. Yep. Um, also, what I don't like about it is I really want to be able to change on the fly. And having this here, they had to put this here since they've got such an excessive amount of uh, gas storage. But this, so that means you have to step back, get down here to change the blades, or to change the blade height. Um, but all in all, it's the fastest stand up I've ever ridden. We tried one at GIE last year, but <clears throat> for the price tag, I think that they're up in the 13 to 15 range <clears throat> and it's just quite not worth it it's basically like having a big zero turn if you want to sit down but if you want to look at these from back behind here you see the length difference how much farther they're lined up pretty close to the back tires how much farther this sticks out that's a big deal for us um, we need the room on trailers and this thing's really nimble and gets into stuff well so as I was just talking about, size factor is a huge thing on these mowers for us. They're compact, um, they're really nice on, they, it's even so much better than the 36. They brought these wheels because it's a 52 and it's got to have a staggered blade set up to it. They brought these wheels 
back and tucked them in here. So this thing has, it's shorter than our 36. It's amazing. So it'll get right up next to a fence, uh, depending on how, how touch you want to get with it. It can cut down on your weed eating. Um, and that's, that's a good thing. You know, um, the more you got to weed eat, the more time that takes. And that's, you know, nobody loves it. Um, as far as other things, no other issues. <clears throat> Runs great. We change everything at 50, you know, oil at 50 hours. Every other 50 hour oil change, it gets an oil filter. Um, the guys check the air filter, the tires all the time. I'm very impressed with the, the non pneumatic front tires. So you don't ever have to worry about flats. We had an X mark that we, you know, it looks like a porcupine because all the plugs in it. Um, we have had some flats on these back tires, but nothing serious. Uh, pretty minimal this year. Um, very, very similar. These eyes set up to the the 36 you get your oil container and then you got your leading down to your two pumps um, very accessible if you need to get into anything uh, like I mentioned on the 36 we had some problems with <coughs> the lever sticking up here a little bit um, still a minor thing you can just put some lube on them we haven't had that situation with these they don't hold the, the gas that this big dog holds I mean this has got two five and a half gallon gas tanks and this has just got the one but you know, if you keep fuel on you, it's not a problem. It's got a FS691V 22 horse motor. They definitely have enough power. You can tell um, <clears throat> they're a pretty well designed thing. Like I said, the only issue we've ever had with them were the hiccups that they kind of have when you're mowing. And they just gradually got worse. And uh, this one does it a lot less. The other one does it and this valve cover leaks. They said that can kind of be common, but you know, when you buy brand new motors and they've got a warranty and you can take them in, it's really not a big issue but if you bought something that's got a ton of hours on it it's got no warranty uh, you probably ought to be looking for these problems on one of these and see like I said if someone else can comment and say what they found out this might be so we can know if it's that serious or not but other than that here's what I really love about the eyes <clears throat> too ours we wash them a lot and uh, which you can't tell today because it's been so muddy but <laughs> this area we blew off the sticker for the height and that's usually where we kind of run our height so we, we mark that down but um, I really love this pin set up here it's so so easy if you need to drop it down from uh, we cut a lot of lawns at four if you need to get it down to three three and a half and then if you need to double cut and pick it up one click you always know exactly where you're at that's the other thing I don't like about that other mower you got to look down at your feet just to see the height um, of where the deck's at this you can kind of just lean over peek at these you know right where you're at it's really easy so this is the right standard 52 intensity very great machine I'll give you an idea they do they do clog up a little bit but I mean if you cut and what we've been cutting in everything's gonna be this bad the last lawn we cut this is a this is the extreme worst you will see out of these decks because the last lawn we cut was literally for a friend of mine we did it at the end of a 30 yard cutting day and um, it was literally crabgrass a uh, foot tall no mower is gonna have less issues than that when it comes to a situation like that so here again this is Jacob with scooters lawn care Wanting to give you a little bit of another review on the 52s we run. Tell you about some of the issues so you kind of know if you're going to get into them. It might be something you see. I, I don't know. I know a lot of guys around here just swear by them and, and run them. And they have 20-foot trailers that will hold five of them on there. You know, this one right here, this trailer behind me, it'll do. Uh, you can put three of those and a push mower, no problem. Plenty of ease as long as you have, like I said, the compact eye version. Uh, here again, Jacob Scooters Lawn Care. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great week. Kill it, guys.